All right, Atangana, here we go. We want to say hi, hola to all our friends around the world. This is the English version, Atangana, the show. My wife next to me, the dangerous blind Diana Savinovich, and my name is Hugo Savinovich. In Spanish, they call me El Hijo de Doña Melida. Over 17 years with WWE, I was also part of the creative. I was a producer for the Spanish Super Astro shows when it was WWF, and worked 17 years as a producer in Puerto Rico. I was in charge of the shows in the island and all the Caribbean. I'm, a, I'm currently the executive producer of New Generation Championship Wrestling. Uh, for uh, February 24th in Florida, we have a big show with Alberto, uh, the real Alberto Patron against Carlito for the world title. And uh, um, I have a wrestling company also in Chile. It's called Wrestling Superstar. We have had great matches in the past two years. We had the Hardys, uh, we had the Young Bucks, Ray Mysterio. We have one of our cards, it's called Mysterio Mania. So we'll be talking a, a lot about what has happened in professional wrestling, especially this week. We will talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling, WWE, Vince McMahon. Uh, he's coming back to go for uh, the American football with the new league. Remember when he had the XFL? So we want to welcome all our viewers, viewers around the world to all our friends from Sports Kita Wrestling. Our friends from Sports Kita Wrestling, our friends from the World Wrestling Network, from the Pro Wrestling World and Wrestling Rumors, uh, and also from all our Latino uh, pages, Mas Lucha Mexico, WWE Latinoamérica, Ecuador, Pasión WWE Paraguay, WWE Humor Guatemala, Queremos WWE Chile, Planeta Wrestling uh, España, WWE World Fans Perú, Caín WWE Colombia, Solo para Fanáticos de la WWE Bolivia, Suplex Chile, WWE Universo Latino Ecuador, that's my home country, Ecuador, WWE Nación Mundial, Honduras y República Dominicana, WWE Es Mi Pasión, El Salvador, and uh, of course, uh, we are so happy that all you guys are with us uh, tonight. Uh, uh, we welcome our, our news alliance, Wrestling Rumors, Derek and uh, Thomas and Shane. It's so good to have you and all our friends that are connected uh, tonight, uh, all our good friends from Sports Kita Wrestling, the World Wrestling Network, the Pro Wrestling World, and Wrestling Rumors. We'll be talking for about 32 minutes, and that's the most important part of the show of this Facebook Live. Uh, it's your comments. So we're going to go ahead and we want to ask uh, the Dangerous Brand to say hello to all our viewers, and we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of our conversations. All right, Diana, let's hit it. Hello to all those wrestling fans out there. We are live from New York City, the capital of the world, and we're so happy to be here tonight to share wrestling, what we love, what our passion. Yes. All the news was going on with, with the different wrestling companies, and so go ahead. Yes, so as part of Lucha Libre Online, our, our, our wrestling page in Facebook, that we have started all these big alliances with this giant, giant pages around the world. We're going to talk a little bit of a Clash of Champions, how the Clash of Champions pay-per-view, uh, our viewers, they, they, they said it, it was good, it was solid, but there was more expectations. And, and of course, uh, uh, the, the victory of AJ Styles over gender, uh, it, 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 was, it was not uh, like a big, big thing because Fans already knew that in his own home country of India, even though he's like a, 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 a second generation from Canada, uh, Indian uh, from Canada, uh, the fans knew that uh, uh, he was already defeated by Triple H in India. And we had already had this conversation about how Triple H said about gender, you know, how, how this is why we did it. And of course, he said that they know about the industry in India. And I said, it's wrong because if they knew about the market in India, they would have not had just 80% have to cancel one of the two shows. And uh, Sports Kita report, reported the show was good. But you cannot have a good influence on Clash of Champions when you beat the challenger, the ex-champion, to face the new champion, AJ Styles, on Clash of Champions. So let me hear from your, your comments about uh, uh, that, and then we will we'll get to the other news. Women are doing the, the, the big news. They're having the big news yeah. as they were able to wrestle uh, for the first time in the Middle East. And now the first female Royal Rumble. So let's, uh, let's hit the, the comments from our viewers. Um, um, let's see. Mike Riggs says, you know, I picture Cage coming, becoming Lucha Underground champion one day. Yes, Cage. Uh, Cage has been active on a lot of our shows. Uh, very strong. 
And for a big guy with all those muscles, he does the lucha style. He does the aerial attacks. He's, he's solid. Cage, uh, Cage is very solid. Um, Jovan Sanchez Hernandez, hey, how are you? We're doing good. Um, over here, Moreira, Javier says, Viva la Raza. All right. Mm -hmm. So also, um, there's a lot in Spanish here. This is an English show. Okay. So, um, Isaac Quiroga style said, hi, Huguito, and Angelita. All so, right. So, they're saying hello to Angelita. Ooh. Okay, so, while we get more of the comments from you guys, let's talk about the history make it event as Stephanie McMahon this past Monday on Raw announced at the end of the show. And by the way, horrible, creative show, horrible, horrible. Uh, Raw was really, really, really bad. Nothing really happened uh, and they went off the air with uh, Stephanie saying we'll be making history first female Royal Rumble, uh, Royal Rumble yes that was good news but it was not what people were expecting I thought that if, if uh, it would have been better to have the Brock Lesnar and the monsters confrontation Kane and Strowman and at least go all off the air hot with that rather than with Stephanie uh, saying to the past this is the news that you should you guys should be applauding and that was like the last thing we we, we heard before we we went off the air so I, I didn't think that went uh, went over really good especially for a show that is the flagship of the WWE and we are about to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the history making raw show I think this is a time where it should be uh, stronger and it, it has been like the the total opposite. We have any any more comments? Uh, there? Tommy Haver says, "Greetings, Hugo and Diana or Rubia. This is a blessing from uh, Boricua in Arlington, Texas. Texas in the house. And of course, we found out uh, uh, Monday night that Dean Ambrose uh, was injured, and that's why you saw some of that uh, action there. And uh, the I believe it's an area of the triceps, and that's gonna." take around six months uh, to recover and and it's unfortunately because uh the shield it, it's something solid for wwe and yet at the biggest moment of the reunion of the shield then we had remember when roman reigns was affected by a virus and 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 that weakened the shield now we have dean ambrose out of commission so what WWE needed it's not happening first with with Roman Reigns now with the injury of uh, Dean Ambrose of course this is something that you don't plan for it's you know nature it's part of the 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 the, the situations you go through but for the shield it's it's not a good a good moment and and of course for WWE Michael Brown says that uh, Raw was bad again yes yeah. yes and uh we must say that uh we have heard about the 205 first uh, uh, tour, the 205 live tour, their first one, and they are announcing on that promo as a special attraction, walking Matt Hardy against Bray Wyatt. So my question to you is, is it a good idea? What, because you still have Enzo defending the championship, which is a horrible idea. Enzo is talented on the mic, but when you put the cruiserweight title that symbolizes Lucha at its best, wrestling at the highest degree of competition, of execution. You cannot have uh, Enzo defending the title. And on that first uh, live tour, Enzo is scheduled to go against Callisto. And uh, and then you have the special attra uh, attraction, the, the walk at Man Hardy against Bray Wyatt. Is it a good idea to have them uh, uh, as a special attraction on the first uh, 205 live uh, tour? That's one of my questions. Uh, Penny Riggs says hello. Also, Kevin Speedy Garcia says it's really boring to watch the same six women fighting each other for the past four Raw shows. Well, yeah, and one of the things that we like is that when we have these shows, your comments, uh, the creative people, they, they, they check it out because they have a view of not my comments and my wife's comments. The most important thing here is your comments. So, uh, you know, let it rip. You know, whatever you love, you will call it. Whatever you don't like, you will call it. And we'll go with more comments, Diana. Ignacio Ortega Milanes says, I think Jinder was not the man. I mean, yeah, he was the only Indian, but he wants to, wasn't the correct guy as a heel, maybe, but his performance in the ring was bored. Always the same promo. Yeah, yeah, but you, that was like the only villain in WWE. Plus the fact that on on the 
uh, Clash of Champions match. What a performance by by Jinder. Uh, I, I am not saying that 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 he should have taken the, the championship back. I'm just saying that uh, when Triple H defeated him in India, it did not help him, no. you know, to look powerful. Like maybe he's going to take the title from AJ. It's like whatever was there, it, it was taken out. And, and, and it's unfortunate because I think that that was a big selling point of the, of the match. Marco Serna Angeles wants to know what do you think about the future of Ziggler? It was a shocker of Doug Ziggler yesterday and let us uh, thinking, is it really, is he yeah. walking away? Is this an angle? What is does, it? Does, does he want more? Is the United States Championship uh, not his ultimate goal? So by doing that, SmackDown produced a, 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 a tremendous show. The, the, the blue show became the stellar show of WWE, yes. and then we also had the, the on, ongoing storyline of, of Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, the Daniel Bryan, Shane story. It makes you like like want to see more, want to see more, and I think that is the key to get our fans hooked. So, uh, so I believe that, that SmackDown did the right thing. The Sigler story, we did the Spanish shows, and, and everybody was talking in, in the Latino wrestling world. We had... Before the show ended, we had over 23, 2,400 uh, 2, comments, and the majority of them were uh, uh, about Dolph Ziggler. Uh, it, it's amazing uh, the 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 way that people really are behind uh, Dolph Ziggler. And I love to see yesterday Shinsuke Naka, Nakamura. Nakamura. And and Randy Orton win. It was it was yeah. awesome. And and I, I I said on the span on our Spanish uh, uh, show that it would have been good to have at least four minutes more of that match rather than boring talking segments. And I think the respect to the TV fans it's something that must be addressed with the creative. As a matter of fact, the survey that Lucha Libre Online did it was the question was the is it time for Vince McMahon to fire the creative team of Raw and SmackDown. And with like 1,600 people participating, out of the 1,600 people, it was like over 85? Or, I think it was 92% yeah, yes. It, yeah, say yes, fire the creative. And 8% yes, said it was okay. It was okay. So this is where, where we are right now uh, with that. Let's, ha let's hear more for the fans. Tony uh, Walter says Finn Balor should get more publicity. Yes, I definitely agree with that. But the problem is, that it's a confusion world with the with the with the storylines with him. I have often said that you do not give the fans the demon character and then just take it away and then you're just gonna use them whatever you think it's good for the creative. I believe that when you have had the experience of having an Undertaker, having a cane, you don't stop being the Undertaker on one night, you don't stop being Kane on the other night. Once you let the fans have the demon or the demon king, you have to make the decision. Either he never touches the demon character, the demon king character again, or he goes full time with the character of, of, of the demon or demon king. And I believe that that's what he needs because he's a heck of a wrestler. But I think in WWE right now, with the absence of, uh, of an Undertaker, I think right now characters like Walken, like Bray Wyatt, uh, and, and Demon are so important to the culture of, of wrestling in WWE. Um, Joseph Reed says, "You would you believe that Shane could possibly terminate Daniel?" Yeah, it, that is the main story. As as the way we work here in in our live Facebook live shows, what we do is we, we love to hear from you guys, but I don't I don't like to go on the spoilers because I, what I what what our mission is worldwide is to get people to become more passionate of wrestling. Get them hooked on, on, on wrestling again. And, and, and if they're upset with WWE, if they're upset with Impact Wrestling or Lucha Underground or New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling or any other company, here we air it out, we talk, and we're just trying to get them into, uh, uh, you know, enjoying wrestling, not just with WWE or the big companies, but also with the independent companies. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to say hello to our friend Danny Cage, the head trainer of Monster Factory in New Jersey. Monster Factory was initiated by Pretty Boy Larry Sharp. He's no longer with us. God rest his soul. And now the head trainer is our friend Danny Cage. If you want to learn wrestling or if you're a wrestler and you want to really get your, your performance to high gear, Danny Cage is the man. 
the Monster Factory. Just check him out. And of course, I want to say hello to our friend, also Pablo Marquez, our, my trainer from yes. for my companies in uh, Chile and in uh, in Orlando, the New Generation Champions mm -hmm. Wrestling and Wrestling Superstar. Uh, Pablo Marquez is the head trainer of the Main Event Center in Fort Lauderdale. I believe in 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 the head trainers to make your product better. So. Uh, 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 big shout for uh, Danny Cage, Monster Factory, and the Main Event Center in Fort Lauderdale, Pablo Marquez. Uh, those are my guys, and God bless him. And let's go with more comments, Diana. Kelby Klein says, what do you think about Brock versus Braun versus Lane coming up? Uh, uh, if, if it's done right, it could be a tremendous storyline. I think that uh, uh, Brock already showed us uh, what he could do when he when uh, when uh, Braun Strowman was not really uh, strong yet, as strong I mean as, as a character, as a wrestler, he wasn't really over. And Brock made him look like a million dollars. He made us erase that stupid storyline of the garbage, you know, truck and the other and the other stuff, the ambulance, and really got him into into the heart of the of the fans. I think there's a future there, and I think that having the experience of a, of a cane and uh, the awesome strength and performance ability of a, of, of a Brock Lesnar with the, with the street credit, you know, UFC star, WWE star, All-American, he is Suplex City, and then you have, of course, uh, the Mike Power uh, of, of Paul Heyman. You cannot ask for a better setup. I just hope that Creative does a good job with that match. It could be an awesome encounter. Gary Brown said, Jim Hardy versus, versus Finn. The Enigma versus the Demon. Make it happen. Yes, yes, yes. And the question also is, did we miss Roman Reigns last Monday on Raw? That, that is also a question. Was Roman Reigns needed in Raw last uh, Monday on Raw? That was the question. Uh, that is the question. Also, the famous magazine, the Rolling Stones, named The Miss like the, uh, as the best, best wrestler of, of, the year. of the year. Do you agree with that? Is The Miss... It, I don't think it's, I don't think my wife is agreeing with that, or are you agreeing with yeah, that? Yeah, the Miss yes. is, is good. So, you know. do you agree with Rolling Stone that the Miss is the, the the best wrestler of 2017? As a matter of fact, he is busy right now filming the movie The Marine uh, Six, and a lot of people talking about Wrestle Kingdom, Wrestle Kingdom 12 from New Japan Pro Wrestling, Jericho versus Kenny Omega, and the creative part. It's Jericho right here. He is the driving force, yes. and I, I, I stated it in Spanish. I'm going to say this in English. I believe that he is showing us that uh, besides his music talent, his band and all that, that when it comes time, he should be considered to a top job of creative in one of the big companies, uh, or he would be ready to have his own wrestling company because I think this angle of Jericho against Omega – the way that it was produced and the way it was sold and it's still been uh, uh, worked on, I think Jericho and Omega Wrestle Kingdom, I think that they have averaged like 30,000 fans at the Tokyo Dome. I think they have a good shot of reaching the 40,000 fans. When I was younger, I used to I also manage Abdullah the Butcher in the Caribbean. Uh, the, the owner of New Japan Pro Wrestling back then was Giant Baba. I was booked and I had the honor uh, of wrestling on 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 the first first match uh, of the top show in New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, and it was at Tokyo Dome, and they had forty thousand fans. An unbelievable moment. The culture of the Japanese people it is it, it is out of this world. And you know that I worked for for WWE for seventeen years, and I've done the play by play in Spanish on the pay per views, and we have come out in WrestleMania there are ninety thousand people, eighty seventy thousand people, whatever, in in, in in many places. But that Tokyo Dome experience uh, it was something else. So I believe that uh, that match between Jericho and Omega is going to be. Awesome, and I'm so happy that it's like a revival of, of the wrestling in, in Japan, and it, it is good because it's also another market for our boys. And our and, and when I say boys, I include the girls. Also. Boys include our whole our, our, our wrestlers. wrestlers. Uh, it's another place to make good money. The more places there are for them to make money, it's great for them, great for their families, and great for the wrestling fans. So let's have more comments, uh, Diana. We uh, say hello to Brandy Lambolia. Oh, Brandy, that's that's my 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 protege from. The Republic of Panama. Panama. 
a wrestling announcer and also MMA presenter. And he's going to be doing play-by-play -play for MMA. So I am so happy. I'm also yes. his, his uh, spiritual father. So that's like one of my one of my boys. And I, I, I love to see people doing good. So I want to say hello to Brandy in uh, Panama City, uh, Republic of Panama. Kelpie Klein says, my bird Bart says hello. You know, we have a... Uh, Blue and Gold McCall here. Her name is Shushi. Um, also, um, here, Travis Riddick says, Hugo, do you think that Jericho versus Omega has a chance to overshadow the rest of the card? Do you think the rest of the card won't be as good because of the hype of, for this match? Uh, uh, make there, no, there is a great yeah, yeah, hype. Absolutely. Yeah. Make no mistake about it. I mean, every match on that Wrestle Kingdom 12 has the potential of stealing the show. But when you have Jericho involved, and you have Omega. I, I, I'm I'm saying this uh, uh, to cover the show. I will stay up. It's it's gonna happen like four o'clock a.m. <laughs> so I will I will have the the report of Wrestle Kingdom, and hopefully I will have that for all, for all the pages that are on right now. And I will stay up uh, not just to do what I'm doing right now, but also because I want to see it live. There is something happening in wrestling, and I'm just. Hoping that this ingredients of Jericho Omega, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and what could be a surprise angle of later seeing something big happening in, in WrestleMania 34 with the Bullet Club. I mean, I, I, I don't know this storyline here. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying the way Triple H talked about it, about Vince McMahon congratulating Jericho on his birthday after this, and then Jericho saying that, and Triple H also admitting that, that Jericho did talk to them about this. We don't know, and, and I hope it's something huge because it, it could be uh, with Wrestle Kingdom and then WrestleMania 34, it could be something huge. I've been very upset with WWE because of the fact of the, uh, of the bad use on guys that were from the Bullet Club, uh, especially with uh, Anderson and, 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 and Gallows. So to me, it is time. Ah. To get real and to make it happen, there is so much action. And, and going back to Wrestle Kingdom 12, it's gonna be it's gonna be really awesome. Um, also, Jonathan uh, Madison asked, "Do you think Vince will sell WWE?" No, no, no way, no way. But I am. This is his yeah, legacy. Yes, this is a family that loves this. This man, the family. When you see Stephanie, and I often say that to my wife, if you see the eyes of Stephanie, you're looking at Vince. Yeah. I mean, this is, and, I, and I'm not saying that Shane doesn't have that, but I'm, I'm just saying that for some reason, daddy's girl, Stephanie, has that. And, and I, I would love to see Shane back on the creative part. Don't get me wrong. I think he's ready. I think he has matured and, and uh, that he is passionate, but not with control because now he had his own experience out there with, without, you know, his father next to him. So I think he will be ready. But I, I, I don't believe that Vince wants to sell that. As a matter of fact, I think right now is the biggest opportunity. With this, uh, if you hear that, that's a blue and gold Macau that it's, it's Macau. Macau that is getting upset because my wife is not paying attention to her. But if you already heard about the, the mixed uh, turn, the mixed tournament that, are, that Vince is going to have on Facebook, 12 weeks on Facebook Live. He's already out there exploring more territory just in case something happens with NBC Universal and the big contract. I, 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 don't think, I don't think there is another person in our wrestling in industry right now that, it, that has a, a bigger mind uh, for the business, more creative. I think Vince is, is a genius. Uh, uh, no one is perfect. You know, he, he, he had his problems with the XFL. And guess what? He's coming back. I think he's naming it the United Football League or something. He's coming back. <laughs> so this is a warrior that doesn't uh, doesn't stay down for the count. He's coming up. I'm just concerned that if right now we're having problems with the creative, if Vince goes in his big meetings with commissioners and to set up the structure of the league. I was there when the XFL came around, and there was no rest for Vince McMahon. And it cost the company over a hundred million dollars, whatever. But I believe now, I believe now my biggest concern is you have a monster of a company with movies and so much things happening that if Vince is busy uh, with his plane, going to one meeting with a with a uh, new league uh, 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 and the creative is not strong, we need another person in the creative seat that when Vince is not around, he or she could make that 
uh, determination. You know, this is this is what's going to happen, and that's it. And right now, we don't have that. So the integrity is compromised of the number one company in, in you, the world. When you divide your focus, that's what happens. Yes. Carlos Vega says, um, uh, God bless you guys from New York. Also, uh, Joseph Reed said, I love Hugo's input on this. With the lawsuit from TNA Drop, could the broken hearties debut? Ah, uh, yes, that is happening. The only thing you notice that walking. instead of broken, it's it's walking. It is happening. It, we Earlier on the show, we, we talked about the first 205 live tour, and as a special attraction, it's walking. Uh, Matt uh, Hardy against uh, Bray Wyatt. Of course, Jeff is still recovering from his uh, surgery. But on that promo, you hear Matt saying, delete. So that's a special attraction. I want to see the whole combo. I want to see Brother Nero. I want to see... The whole walk-in world, I want to see his kid involved. I want to see the property, his house. I want to see this whole concept that that made us dream again of this big storyline. So it's going to happen. I want to, re I want to remind, oh, you have another comment Nic there? Nicholas D. View says, you think Rey Mysterio will come back to WWE? That, that's one of the guys that, that we have uh, uh, stated that WWE has, has said it publicly that, that Rey Mysterio is one of the guys they want, also Batista. And with Rey Mysterio, it's a little bit more difficult. Batista already said he wants to come back full-time. But with Rey Mysterio, he is making so much money. I, 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 like, like he's going to be with me in one of my productions in Puerto Rico. They, they are recovering from the hurricane. As soon as the government gives us a green light, we're going to have the show that was canceled because of the Hurricane Maria. It's called Mysterio Mania, tribute to Messias, dedicated to Ricky El Messias Banderas, one of the biggest stars from Puerto Rico and Mexico. And when the government, give, the government give, gives us the, the green light, we're going to have that show. And, and all the, the profits from the show is going to be donated for the victims of the hurricane. But so, going back to Ray. Going, going back to Ray. He is so busy. And he's also being used for creative ideas. And the wife is happy with them already having more time. And when you work for WWE, I worked with them 17 years. <laughs> and my wife could tell you there was not too many days off. It's like a bullet train that makes no stops. It is beautiful. I I, I bless them. It was, but you, when you say you work for Vince, you really work for Vince. He said also Ricochet is rumored to come. Yes. It seems yes, to the, take everyone who's dominating independent circuit and kill their character. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't believe that. Well, it's, I believe that's why um, the young bucks don't want to go there. Yeah. Look what they've done to Matt and, okay. and to Jeff. But. But now we have the, 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 the rising of, of walking. Uh, yes, they have made mistakes, but look what happened with AJ Styles. AJ Styles has become the number one guy in WWE, and whoever didn't know him from the years in TNA or New Japan Pro Wrestling, now, now they know. So, yes, there's been some negative there with the creative, but when things are right, one match in WWE at the right pay-per-view, the right moment, could put you on the map. I, I, independent guys like Carlito Caribbean Cool that also work for us, I, uh, uh, they could tell you it's like being on WWE TV for, for, for a couple of years or more. Uh, it gives you a license to perform and to get good money worldwide. As a matter of fact, let me remind you, as the executive producer for New Generation Championship Wrestling, I want to invite all you fans to our show February 24th is a Saturday at the Fire Frog Stadium in Kissimmee, Florida. The main event, we will be crowning our first world heavyweight champion of the new generation of championship wrestling. It's Carlito Caribbean Cool or Carlito against Alberto Patron, a.k.a. Alberto Del Rio. We also have the giant Snitsky on the car, badass Billy Gunn, and some tremendous matches. And this is going to go down February 24th. It is called The Saga Continues, Lucha Conquest. Two, and you could go to epicomagazine.com and buy your tickets right now, and you'll get a 25% discount. That is New Generation Championship Wrestling, and I am the executive producer for the company and for the fans in South America. Uh, not too long from now, we're going to be going back for shows in uh, Chile and South America. So a lot of good things happening. Also helping our friends from Imperio Lucha in Peru. Uh, we're doing business 
with the Crash Lucha Libre. We went into in Mexico. Uh, in Mexico. The Crash Lucha Libre is also a hot independent company. I was there on their sixth anniversary. Ray Mysterio was on the card. So there's a lot of good things happening. And hopefully in, in this moment that we get together, we could talk about all that. Uh, fourth, the fourth season of Lucha Underground will happen on February. Not later. It's going to take place on February. Uh, Impact Wrestling, uh, it looks like sometimes they're going to do better, and then they they go two steps back. Our Ring of Honor, the the I don't I don't think it was good when they took the title from Cody Rhodes. Uh, I'm not saying that Dalton is a bad worker or a bad wrestler; he's tremendous. But you gotta go with it, with what is hot, and Cody was still the hot guy. They should have waited to to take the title of uh, from from him. So we will be talking about a lot of things and. Uh, when we get together on Wednesday, same time here on the Eastern uh, Time Zone, United States, uh, eight o'clock. Any more uh, comments, yeah. Adriana? Chris McGuire said, "Hey, Hugo from Australia, what do you think about the build-up to Jericho and Omega, and what do you think is next for Dolph Ziggler?" Dolph Ziggler, I am awaiting something huge. They got everybody. Everybody's waiting to see what the heck happened on SmackDown. Is he? Is it? Is, is, is this like for real? Did he quit? Uh, WWE, or does he want a bigger title? What's going to happen? So this is the essence of good writing. This is the essence of our passion, of our sport. And this is what we want. And I think that finally they're doing something uh, great uh, with Dolph Ziggler, who uh, when he was doing that promo, you, they showcase, uh, you know, big moments in his career. And then, you know, that, that to me, it, show, it showcases uh, how wrong WWE created was not to pay attention to him. So I'm glad things are happening, and I hope it's a good story, good storyline. Miguel Saitama said, do you think Ronda Rousey, such as the first woman women, winner of the Royal Rumble, is the best for business right now for WWE? I would love to see her do good, but we have to, I, I'm not part of the creative, but uh, uh, it will not hurt uh, to have her on. Now, to give her the win, which which will be the 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 equivalent to the the men's royal rumble means that she has a shot at the title if you want to go that way you better do it good also to do the storyline of a woman's royal rumble it's already going to be tough and ronda you know she has no experience so you have to either put her last to come in if she's coming in and then be very careful that by trying to do something good you don't really kill this first time ever female Royal Rumble. It, it, you know, sometimes a good idea might sound, you know, it's good, but when you write it down and then, you know, let's let's think it over, then you realize, no, this is not a good idea. And and and, and of course, you don't want that to happen on a on a big event like a like the first ever uh, women's Royal Rumble. And I'm rooting for that event. When 